Hello. Welcome back to RFL. So between parts I did go check uh, resetting your stats. It's, it, it says that it gets more expensive the more you do it and it starts at 100. But it does not reset skill sadness. Uh, it does reset stat points. It is a ton of stat points for one to actually rebuild anyone. I don't think I will. So uh, let's get in here and see what this old man has to say. First let's take his ore. Three of it. Nice. I don't need the ore or the crystals anymore, but nice. Hello. Hi there. You're not going to attack me, are you? I don't intend to. I created a seal to protect the artifact, but was locked in this room for adv by adventurers long ago. I rarely receive visitors down here. Are you here for my treasure? Probably. <laughs> At least she's honest. Some weird guy in a mask asked me to find an ancient relic that can amplify magic. Is that so? That person must mean... My riddles? Brooch? I'm sorry, the object is mine. I'm not giving it up. Is that what we're searching for, Lita? My riddles brooch is an ancient... is an artifact of power. Do you know about that? I assumed such knowledge had been lost to the ages. Another elven spirit named Asari told me about it. She said I'm the one who has to break the stone curse. I have three other artifacts already. Asari? Ah, it has been so very long since I last spoke to her. I must admit, I am wary of this place. Perhaps I will give you Muriel's brooch, after all. I am sure the Elven Council will understand. If they are ever awakened. At any rate, I will break the seal. But I require three magical gems to do so. They are around here somewhere. You'll forgive me for forgetting their location after a thousand years of guarding a cave, I hope. Find them and return, and return to me. Actually, I think we might have all three of them already. Have you found the gems? Wonderful. I will keep my word and break the seal then. With that, you may pass and collect my rules brooch. Use it wisely, human. I can only hope Asari knows what she is doing. Farewell. If he could just disappear, then why did he stay locked in the cave? So that's what the gyms are for. I actually don't think I need to do a power attack, but might as well. Alright, couple of level ups. that I need that much attack on her. Yeah, that sounds about right. There we go. More iron. Enemies like to get in my way. And for that, they get the Lita. Okay. we somehow consistently staying one hit point below Serikisu. I guess as long as I keep giving them both the same amount of, uh, health. It's gonna stay that way. Ow. Ow. Hey, you guys were supposed to die. I don't want him to get too much agility. Give him a little more health, I guess. Just kinda hoping the extra iron would give me uh, what I needed. Well, it would have if I had an extra fire essence. So Adrian just needs a lot more iron. Another fire essence for uh, Doran. And more silk. See, so, yeah, I'm getting close to getting everything to uh, Pier 3. Oh. Oh. No. It looks like. It looks just like Dan's ring 
would if it were a roach. It would... I don't know. For some reason that looks weird to me. It looks just like Dean's ring would if it were a brooch. Same material, same gem, same ruins even. These artifacts were all crafted by the same smith, each, in, each enchanted by one of the elven high lords and ladies. Two others remain. At this rate, it seems we will find them soon. That enhanced uh, rapid fire. I'm assuming it's just more potency? I don't know. Most likely. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. Can't tell. I assume it's more potency. need a whole lot of uh, magic regen. Especially since he can just restore magic points using his uh, whirlwind. Um, turn back. We intended to save a lot sooner. So I don't accidentally overwrite my slot. Okay. Okay, proceed. You have the artifact, Myrtle's brooch, at long last. How did you know what it was called? I can't give it to you, but I'll... Ah! Abyss, I can't move. What's happening here? Stasis magic. Sir Kisu, can you break through it? I will make an attempt, but I doubt it. What this man lacks in destructive magic, he makes up for with physical alteration. It's rather impressive, actually. I'm glad you approve, sorceress. Now watch as I bring Arafel to her knees. The four of you will make a suitable offering, I think. Rerimzi, arise. Girl, never trust anyone in a mask. That really should be the first rule of adventuring. Or hoods. Rise, demon. Do my bidding. Give me the power to take Arafel as my possession. Give me your power. Accept this offering. Yes, yes! Nothing can stand in my way now. Creature, devour these fools. What? No, no, demon. Not me. Attack those people behind me. Stop. I brought you to life. Ririms. Ririms. Ririmsi. God. Ririmsi, no. Rip that guy. That idiot. Now we have to clean up this mess. Not the first time we've. We, we will be clean. Not the first time we'll be cleaning up someone's mess. Won't be the last either. I. That is a lot of turns on this thing. Okay. Wow. Uh, let's focus up. I want the burst right away. Uh, taunt is worthless here. So is Mark, really. Sure, whirlwind it. Alter time. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't expect something with this many, uh, things to, um, overly too much damage. Individually, at least. I'm assuming... Oh, I can't scout those things. I'm assuming I'll get them all if I scout one. That's usually how bosses work. 
This type of demon is an archfiend. Their hunger is insatiable. Why is he explaining this? Every other time the game has explained a boss to me, it's been on a uh, dimmed screen just from like a narrator. <laughs> It will consume whatever is closest to it. Human, animal, other demons, it makes no difference. Worse, if we destroy one of its heads, it will emer it will enrage the others. We should try to destroy them simultaneously. It did not. Okay, cool. Burn them all. Did it, um... These are... These are already revealed. I guess just keep hitting it with AoE. Ow! Okay. Ow. Bye? I guess it, um, it had chilled on it, so it was doing reduced damage. A little concerning. Uh, actually gonna channel. Alright, that, uh, hmm. Actually, no, I think I will use Doran's. Yep. Buffs and full heal. Ow. I. Ow. Why? Why her? Uh, okay. Normally I'd be using a rapid fire on a boss, but this is uh, too much of a boss for that. Let's get the buff back up. Ow! Don't, don't kill him, he is the healer. Yeah, scouting is not really worth it. Why? He's the only one that's healed right now. Okay, um, that hurt. Oh, okay. They, okay, they just get stacking damage ups. I mean, we got this. Got a little, uh, a little bit sketchy. <laughs> 200,000 experience. Actually made a pretty big dent. The Archfiend has been defeated. Looks like this guy was the one keeping the seal up on that passage. Okay, then. Uh, let's save. I don't think there was a...
too big of a risk there, but that was that was still a little sketchy. I don't think I should have ran into that, but whatever. Very glad I found that uh, that relic to survive lethal damage. Ow! Don't do that. What you get? Okay, I thought he was stuck, but no, you can go to the bottom of that uh, corner. Still a little far from upgrading anybody. I sure do hope there's more iron. Like, even more iron? I need quite a bit. I see that chest down there, but I don't know how to get to it. I guess from up here? Yeah, okay. Oh! Bardstone. What does he have left? Quite a bit, apparently. I honestly don't think his heal needs to be any better. Sure, regen. I noticed that. Out hesitation. Adrian gets an, his axe upgraded. Scorching. Okay. Oh! I didn't even realize that. I don't have any tier 4s, but what does Scorching do? Wait. That was 3. Is it not? Oh, no? No? Oh, I have no idea. What was that? Huh. I thought that was a three. Uh, no idea. Oh, it's a four. Never mind. Okay. Gives regular attacks a 50% chance to apply immolation, dealing 10 potency of damage per turn. If this was not just regular attacks, that would be amazing. Every single one of those is terrible because it's only regular attacks. And how often am I doing regular attacks? She's also the only one possible to have a tier four at this point. past the crystal that I don't need. I think potions use it. This looks like... What? Okay. That confused me. Yeah, this looks like I should be able to go into that, and I can't. It's only slightly upsetting.
All right, more iron. If we're getting more than one, I might actually be able to finish off by the time I get out of the cave. She needs iron and silk. Also a fire essence. He needs a ton of iron. Iron, silk, and fire essence. And she just needs silk. Ian Scully, Temple Orlean. Okay, apparently that's just the exit. Yikes, it was burning hot, but now it's freezing. This is Dean Scully, one of the less hospitable of RFL's regions. Legend has it the elves that first inhabited this place angered the goddess, so she cursed the land. Whether that's true, I can't say, but the warm air from the Cave of Life flows from here to the highlands and only in that direction. Dean Scully is treacherous and was not well traveled even before Miranda blocked the way. Be cautious. Great. Well, let's hurry up and get to Orly and then. I'm going, I'm going to freeze to death in this skirt. Okay. Uh, save? And fight things. Boy, that snow bear cub sure is cute, but it's full of experience. Eh, not too bad. The other things are uh, looking a little more concerning to me. Less though. Hmm, that sounds pleasant. Okay, they're quite a bit more uh, healthy. They drop aether dust. Neat. Let's jump into the water here. I'm sure that's healthy. Okay, we got burbs. They are also healthy. Why is the the bear the least healthy thing here? I get that it's a cub, but I actually don't think there is a full-grown bear that, that you fight. Ow. Ow! Okay, actually, uh, this hurts. They are worth a lot of experience. Is a bunny an enemy? No. They really want me to finish off skills, apparently. Okay, so everything here is dangerous, except the bears just die. I have no idea how bad the bears are. By the time they should get a turn, they're already gone. Like that. These enemies here are fairly consistently, uh... I don't know what that did, but based on the icon, I would assume that it's... a, uh, a defense drop. But anyways, yeah, these, these things are already fairly consistently more experienced than the bees. I am actually a little impressed. Also very worried about the birds. A little less worried about the birds. 
Oh, I almost missed the silk. I still need a lot of that, too. That didn't hurt too bad. He's fine. Good job, Lita. Her power isn't even that low. Gosh. She's over 65% crit right now. secrets. Oh, I see you, fish. I'm coming for you. Okay, so now we're getting that kind of oil. The aether oil. Level ups all around. There we go. Until something ends up being faster than me, I'm not overly concerned about what I set my agility to. Probably should have had her attack one of the uh, the ghost things in case she crit. Yeah, this is going to go well for them. Also getting close on time again. But I am making progress, so that's always good. Okay, see you, bear. A lot of different dust. A little bit concerned. Okay. That blue thing might be collectible, but the bird was flying over it. A little bit concerned that it did not get enough ore. Again, I should have fired at the skeleton thing. Whatever. I think I'll talk to the, uh, the guy we saw by that well and then call this part. Is that an exotic hide? It was. Okay. I don't know what dropped that. <laughs> Could have been any one of those things. Hello there, you folk. You folks look like an adventuring sort. Care to do me a favor? Sure. 
Maybe, what do you need? Well, I've heard there's some sort of treasure down in this well. Have a, have a look around for it and I'll pay you. It might be dangerous down there, so be careful if you go. We can do that. What could go wrong exploring a well of all things? Excellent, excellent. Let me know if you find it. Find what? Okay. Yeah, we're going to uh, call this here. Uh, so that's going to be for this part. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stick around for more. And thanks for watching.